And what's going on, guys? Potato Cup Gaming here, bringing you a little bit of Game Dev Tycoon. Because you know what better sort of game to play alone? Because you have no friends. Yay. Um. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just got this on Steam. Seemed cool, you know. Kind of ironic. And uh, yeah, let's see where this goes. Maybe I can actually turn this into a solo series, depending on how completely boring I can make it. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon! In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution! In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market! I had like four different accents reading that. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming com upcoming company a name. Hmm. That works. Player name Billy. Huh. <laughs> this is great. Um. Yes, you look like you have an egg for a head. If you ever want to review the tutorial messages, then you can do so in the help menu. To access the help menu and other features such as saving, loading, and creating game menu, blah 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 blah. Before the family can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and get it down in the name. You also can create great technology games for years. You also can create great technology games for years. You also can create great technology games for years. You also can create great technology games Alright. <laughs> hmm. Yes. Because why not? Alright, pick topic. So what the hell? Sci-fi. Pick genre? Strategy, pick a platform. Huh. How much money do I got? Well, let's go with PC. Do 2D graphics. Start development. Call of Halo! Because why not? Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the areas, please refer to the help menu. Huh. Engine? Engine. Engine. Ha. Huh. I want to have a good storyline. Because storylines are important. But everything should still be decently equal. Game development has now started. While developing your game, you'll generate game points, which you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. From time to time, there will also be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bugs should be fixed before the game is released. Inc increase development time and cost. Development stage 2. Dialogues, level design, artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence? No one even cares about 
dialogues anyway, and then level design needs to be important. Actually, we're gonna push you all the way up, and then we're gonna put you, like, there. Okay. Monthly costs! During development, you can also s select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increases its cost. You will also see the graphic type you selected when you define the game. This is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics mid-game. Okay. Um... Sound, yeah, okay. Um, world design is very important. And these can be like there ish. Sure. <laughs> I got this, guys. This game is going to be the best Call of Halo game. In the history of Call of Halo. Because this is officially a thing. Huh. Alright. Alright. Experience gained. Billy! Release game. Genre. What was my topic genre? Topic was sci-fi, genre was strategy? Okay. There's no bar here, I feel like there's supposed to be. Are these out of 10 or out of 5? Okay, I saw 7, it must be out of 10. Not bad, not good! Yay! PCG, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, Call of Halo. The game received favorable reviews. With such a good start, PCG is sure to gain fans quickly. I still have no fans, though. You've lied to me! 21 fans! Call of Halo sold 2,748 units in the first week on the market. We made it in the charts at... Hashtag 97, y'all. That's so cool. Now that your game is on sale, you will receive the income from the game every week. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph at the top right of the screen. Yay. Uh, I have 21 fans. 21 fans. That's great. Sci-fi and strategy is a great combination. Engine seems to be quite important for this type of game. Alright. Gain more research points and new insights. It pays off to generate a report for each game you release. Now that you've completed your first game report, it's a good idea to look at the research menu. To open the research menu, close this message and click any... Okay. Research. Research is important to unlock the new options that make better games. 
Okay, that was like way too intense for that sentence. That was like John Cena going in for the RKO. Like intent that was that was extreme. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. My own game engine. Alright. Hint, try to develop games with different topic and genre combinations for a slight research boost. Okay. Alright, research points. I'm not gonna start researching anything yet. I'm just going to develop a new game. Call of Halo. Action Edition. Pick topic. History. Action. Well, city action. I'm gonna go with the G64. And we're gonna do 2D graphics. And we're gonna start development. Um. Action will probably be gameplay. Let me put these down a little bit. Okay. I'm just guessing, people! <laughs> As you all know, I do not at least post a wide variety of games, so, you know, don't have a whole lot of background. I try to play as much as I can, but I'm just really... Yeah. Dialogues. Um... I think I'm gonna keep it at that. No bugs yet, that's pretty nice. And of course, the second I say that, I get a bug. Fun. Um, let's go graphic and sound a little more. World design, actually keep world design up. Now, if it's action, we need sound. But if it's city, eh, I'm just gonna keep it all there. Huh, it's already off the market. Sold s over 7,000 units, generating 54,000 in sales. That's not terrible. Undo the bugs. Wait, you just... Are you done? You done? Okay. Yay! This is pretty nice. Artificial intelligence is like my strong suit right now, bro. And sound, apparently, you know. Belay! Release game. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, wow. Alrighty. Four? Okay. Damn. Shots fired, man! Dang! Dang! Could have been better. Could have been a lot better. That was not great. Alright, so let's do a game report. Uh, well, I've taken a loss from this so far. Alright, so G64 is the way to go right now. Cool, cool. Game history. So, Call of Halo paid for itself. And... This has not yet. Um... Gah. Research bubbles. 
Uh, city and action is a bad combination. Level design seems to be quite important for this type of game. So, type... No, that's not what I want. I want... Where do I get to the thing where it's... Like... It tells me what I've learned. Like, it... It re-shows my... My thing. You know? You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and research that. Pick topic. Pirate. Research that for fun. All right, all right. Ninvento. Dinky King. That's pretty great. Many industry experts doubt that home game consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Ninvento will deliver. That's totally not a play on Nintendo at all. Pirates, yay. Um, uh, Call of Halo Pirates. Pick topic. Pirate. Pick genre. Adventure. Actually. Yeah, adventure. Pick platform. The G64. I thought. Adventure. There we go. Alright. Oh, it's off the market. How did that end up doing? Well, that was actually a loss. That sucks. Fun. Uh, an adventure mode definitely needs to have... I'm assuming this. That's what I'm assuming. Random guesses based on random adventure games that I've played. So, you know. Um... Dialogues definitely need to be better. Artificial intelligence does not need to be as good. Uh, probably bump this down a little bit. Bump this down a little further. There we go. Adventure game, dialogues gotta be good. Dialogues aren't good, then, you know, you, you lose interest. Uh, adventure world design, I mean, all of it's gotta be high. So, I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it all even. Um... I'm in the negatives. That is not good. Finish! Alright, let's go. I'm losing money. This is bad. New topic, new combo. Alright, 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 alright. Sound is taken off. Ninvento has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new home gaming console called TESS early next year. The console features cartridge based games and a uniquely designed controller. That is amazing. Oh, it came in. Ah, 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 oh. Dang. Yay, five! 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 Oh my gosh! That's amazing! That's three fives! Okay. Alright. Go ahead and generate the game report.
Hi there, just finished Call of Hell Pirates. I think you have potential. I'm in the contracting business and we could use skills like yours. If you ever fall short on cash, just let me know and I'll see if I have some work for you. Contracts have now been unlocked. <laughs> to see a valid contract close this message and click anybody anywhere. That's not what I want. That's still not what I want. Alright, come on game. Pirate and adventure is a great combination, I knew it! Sound seems to be not very important for this type of game. G64 and adventure is great. Okay. Alright. Yay! It's the very first game and it means a lot to you for enjoying it with this purchase maker. Little blah 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 yay! Seriously, rock, thank you very much and yay! Cool. Yay. Alright. Uh, find contract work. Contracts are a useful turn to earn some extra cash when your balance is low and can also be useful to generate a small number of research points. Contracts require you to generate a certain amount of design and technology points before the time runs out. Decide carefully what contract you accept. If you miss the deadline for a contract, you'll have to pay a penalty, so it's better to start off with smaller contracts and see how much you can handle. Uh... Um, I mean, let's go with this one then. Yeah, this one. Yeah, I killed that. That was great. I got that. Yeah. Yay. Okay. Um. Develop new game. Uh, go ahead and click adventure. Cause I like adventure. City adventure. Call of Halo. I can spell Call of Halo City Rumble. Yes. Wait, adventure. Wait. Genre. Okay, so that's topic. This is genre. Okay. So we know adventure is really good. So let's go ahead and do another adventure game to get a little more money going, and then we can experiment a little more. Um. Alright, that seems good. And I apologize right now because I am practically boring myself with this. Um, and I don't actually know how long this video has been. So I think when this game is finished, probably going to end the first episode because, you know, I'm practically putting myself to sleep. I mean, this is cool. I like this game. But commentary on my part is just not working out. Um, hey, call of Halo City Rumble because cities rumble. That's cool, right? Yeah. Um, uh, um, let's bump that up a little bit. All right. I'm right, not bad, not bad. Don't have anything bringing in the money now, though. on the development screen development screen okay so let's put sound a little lower 
Oh, dang, negative money. Negative money, not good. Hey, it's been released. That's great. All right, cool. Ding! 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 Kind of sounds like the little Mario coin grab. That's just... I love that. That's great. Make that my new mixtape. Oh, they came in! Hmm. I was honestly expecting better reviews. Wow. Dang. That was uh, harsh. Like, really harsh. Okay. Re generate game reports, because that was bad. I'm going to assume that city and adventure was not good combination. City and adventure is terrible. Seems to be not important for this type of game. Alright. So let's do some research. Custom game engine. Oh, right. I said it was going to end the episode. Okay, yeah. So, um gonna end it on this note hope you guys have enjoyed this snooze fest of video if you somehow manage to please leave a like comment and subscribe because if you've liked this then you probably will like the rest of my videos so props to you if you made it through this entire video and uh, I don't blame you if you hadn't if you had didn't had didn't I can speak. I'm half asleep right now. So yeah, uh, I guess I will talk to you guys again in episode two, if I get around to episode two, because right now I don't think episode two will be a great idea, but you know, I'm not a smart person, so let's, you know what, whatever, yeah. Bye guys!